our crib box. This is uh, kind of our tech, textbook crib box. In the fire department, we use these, uh, they're 24 inch long 4x4s, and the wedge is, is our typical cribbing. Now, at, at home, in the major disaster, do you need 4x4s and special cut wood to uh, act as cribbing? No. We can do whatever we can to fill, fill a void so these, the loads, the weight, quit, keep dropping. We want to stop, stop the load from dropping on our patient. Uh, this guy's had a pretty bad day, we can see. Uh, when we crib these, we got to be aware of a couple things. But let's use that. I'm just, just going to demonstrate, just tell them that that's what we have on the rigs. We'll be able to use that uh, two by four. So, what you need to have is some sort of lever. On the uh, fire trucks, we carry all these big steel uh, tempered heavy bars that we use to lift with. But we can actually, you can get a lot of force generated. I doubt, maybe you might have a digging bar at home you use to dig. Uh, trees or plants, but you can use that. Uh, I got this just eight foot uh, two by four to use as a lever also. What you need to watch out for though is, you see how this slab is lifted up on one side? If I put weight on this side, there's parts of the patient that may not be crushed yet. I can, I can fill that with my wedge or a book or whatever I can to uh, stabilize that load. Now we're not putting any more weight on the patient. Well, you are, buddy. <laughs> You're not that light, buddy. Uh -oh. <laughs> there, how's that, chap? So then what we want to do, if I walk up and grab this guy, I can't just pull him out. So, Shada. Yes, sir. I need you to lift. Okay. What we want to make sure we don't do is, here I am to help this person out. And I lift this up, I get him so that Shadda can just start to pull him out. I get him so Shadda can start to pull him out. <laughs> so, oh, no, you just start. So Shadda starts. Oh shoot, I lose control. Just recrushed him. Now, not only did we recrush him, but we probably put him in more damage than was there before. So now I'm going to start to lift. And Shadow being the wise guy he is, he's going to use cribbing to catch what I pick up. Uh, and you want to do it where you're going at the same time as the lift. Where's the wedge? The, oh, you use yeah. one. So the, the, the saying is lift an inch, crib an inch. Okay? So as he goes, I'm pushing that in, and I'm careful not to get my hands in there. So. And really to get a person out? That's all. To slide him out. I think if Shada were to try to grab him again, he could probably pull him out just with that amount of lift right there. And we would have a team, we would have teams, one building on this side, one building on that side in the fire department. But it's the same principle. As you lift, you fill. And as I'm pushing these in, I'm not I'm not doing that, right? I am doing this. And then if I need to get in further, I'm using another piece of wood, all right? Don't let your, you, you don't want to become part of the problem, all right? Eventually it looks real nice and pretty like that. We're not, it's not gonna because you don't have those materials and we are just going for sometimes just a half an inch of this weight off that person, you'll be able to get them out. So as little as you need to lift, and knit, don't get your hands in there. And as you lift, you fill that void. And this, I, I teach uh, rescue classes to firefighters throughout the region here. And it's a whole day of just building these crib boxes. And we'll, but we'll lift things three or four feet off the ground. But it's a whole coordinated effort to lift them up. Generally, for somebody who's pinned and they're still in a survivable position, it only takes a couple inches to free them. So we don't have to lift a lot. We just, we'd like to be careful. If we just start stacking them in line, they're not, it's not very stable. So that's why we build that box is to just make a more stable platform to lift with. But if you're having to build this big giant crib box, it's, uh, it, you're probably going beyond where you need to be. It gets real complicated. Any questions on the cribbing? <laughs>